Happy New Year's Eve. It's Mike from MSR Gaming and MSR Reviews. I'm here with part two of my playthrough walkthrough of The Last of Us. Let's jump in. stop at his house before we leave. We just have to pick something up. Okay. I couldn't get to the horses. Looks like Tommy took one. Now Maria's got the stables locked down. <sighs> Fucking Tommy. We'll figure something else out on the way. A car or a horse or something. Okay. This makes getting to Seattle a lot harder. Then it's gonna be harder. You can still change your mind, you know? I know. Just don't want you to feel like you have to. Ellie. You go. End of story. You need to get your backpack. I hit it by the east gates. I figured we'd want to slip out that way. So it looks like Joel's death is setting up the rest of the game. Um, from the sounds of things, we're going to be going to Seattle to chase down the WLF or Wolves, I think they're abbreviated to. Um, so yeah, we're going to be chasing those guys down, it seems, and we're just heading back to the house now. So we'll see what happens. What do you need? I'll, I can go get it. I want to do it. Okay. I'm okay. Come on. I'll hang out down here. Thanks. So it looks like I'm just collecting a few bits now. I'm just going to do a quick scout around the house. Mm. Coffee cup. Nice. Nice owl. Don't know what the relevance of picking that up is. I don't remember ever seeing Joel or Ellie use that cup, but I could be wrong. Oh, she's drawing it in her journal. I'm not going to bother looking at that. <laughs> a bit pointless. Uh, so I'm assuming there's gonna just gonna be a ruck, rucksack or something I need to pick up with my stuff in it. Uh, notoriously in these games, you play with some sort of bag. So, oh. the guitar. The last thing. Oh no, it's not the one that Joel gave Ellie. It's just one that he was making by the looks of it. And a nice sculpture there. Definitely into his woodwork. Nothing of any use in any of these rooms then, so. What's this? Joel's jackets. Mainly leather. And the one he's notorious for wearing. Sort of yellowy tan leather. Bet that doesn't smell great. I don't know why she just sniffed it. People do that, I guess, when people die, but. That coat's been through, you know, a good 20 hours of infested, infected fighting and blood. That can't smell great. I'm 
assuming that's Joel and Ellie, but Ellie looks like she's got blonde hair there. Is that Ellie? Don't really look like her. I'm assuming it must be. Oh, shoebox. A broken watch. That must have been the one he was wearing during his final moments then. We're keeping that, apparently. Nice little snub-nosed. Anything else? Everything okay? So the watch and the gun, that's all I'm taking. Oh, been summoned. What's going on? Ah. Maria, I'm headed to Seattle. I wish I could let it go, but I can't. I have to bring these people to justice. Ellie's going to try to come after me, but stop her. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Buy me some time so I can end this. Love you always, Tommy. He's going to get himself killed. He should have taken me with him. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. So you're just gonna sneak out of here? Hmm? Yeah. On foot? Yeah. I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo too. Thank you, Maria. Just uh, do me a favor and bring my dumbass husband home in one piece, please. Get going, you're, you're losing weight. So it looks like we're actually going after Tommy rather than the revenge route. But I'm assuming as Tommy's going for revenge, we'll end up meeting up and getting some double justice. Okay, cool. So we've got sort of two two missions, two agendas. Seattle day one. There we go. Trying to find Tommy. Trying to get some revenge. This hunter was on top of him, drowning him. And Beautiful game. Joel couldn't get to his gun. Jeez. Were you scared? Well, I... I didn't even think. I just, I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? Me talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? Wow. What happened? The guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. He got me beat. Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Uh, we're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. What about those crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after I have no fucking clue where I'm going, by the way. WLFs are connected to them. No. 
It didn't seem like the same group. Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. So we still don't know who these people are then. They've just said that they don't think it's fireflies. Um, Joel crossed a lot of people. Well, yeah. Mainly fireflies, though. These sort of scenes we're seeing with the cars, with the overgrown grass and all of the forestry. It's all very reminiscent of The Walking Dead. I love it. Turns out you do know where you're going. Did they go to Seattle in The Walking Dead? I can't remember. I know Washington was one of the... Seattle was in Washington, isn't it? So... I think. I don't know, my geography is awful. Yeah, big fat old sign for Seattle. So, made it. Okay. This is a beautiful game, by the way. I mean, look at that. You can't, can't get better than that. Looks like I go under here. All right, cool. I thought we were there, but we're not there. We're here, so okay. This is good. WLF trespassers killed on sight. Right. So, are people going to start shooting me then? Because. Dismount horse. Yeah, I just read that, Dina. Come on. Oh, fuck's sake. Where is everyone? What's up here? Then? Means there's gotta be a way in. I thought that was a turret gun. Oh, okay, ladder over there. Cool. 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 Let's have a look in here. Gotta find me some goodies. When you get to the gate, look for a soldier named Kieran. Tell him I sent you. Then give him the kilo. A bit of a drug deal going down there. That sounds right. Unless I read that wrong. Yes. Every good game needs a map. So it looks like this is going to be a little bit sandbox, this mission. I get some flexibility of roaming around. But as the story always seems to be quite linear, I'm sure it will give me a quite straightforward way to get what I need. Anything in here? What do we got? Drawers with nothing in. Why are you letting me look? There's nothing in the drawers. That's one thing that pisses me off about games where you have to forage and scavenge for supplies. Why interact with them? If there's nothing in there, just don't allow me to interact with the drawer. It makes more sense to me. Because then otherwise you should be able to interact with every drawer. And that's just time consuming. Anything down there? I better look down there first. Alright, gotta 
go back up. The only way is up. Early. You and me now. I fucking hate that song. Oh, nothing in here either. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 Oh, Dina's already up here, is she? Fucking hell. Waiting for me, was ya? Was I wasting your time? Dina, Sorry. Okay. And then she fucked off again. Oh. I'm getting more and more cross with Dina, and I'm pretty sure that Sony and Naughty Dog don't kill her off. I just got this gut feeling, because whenever I dislike a character in the game, they never die. Unless it's like in Fallout or something and you've got the option to kill them. Or Skyrim. But even then, a lot of the times they don't let you kill characters off. They just go into that weird crouch state and then they're pissed off with you when they get back up and it's like they have un unlimited health. Drop down. I like how I'm doing this, not Dina. I'm not risking life over limb here. Fuck. Jesus. Let's have a look around. I mean, visually, this game is amazing. Um, so far, the story's intriguing. They haven't given you much to go by. So, you're sort of having to play on to see what is happening, to find out what's going on, which is good. And I like the double dynamic of this. There's two things going on. So not only are we looking to get revenge for Joel's death, but we're also chasing Tommy now because Tommy's decided to take it upon himself to go and do this alone, which is stupid as shit. But door is locked. Obviously, it's going to need power. This is following the blueprint of any game ever. Okay. Yep. Get you power. How do I get your power? Well, there's a generator there, isn't there? Oh, that would be too easy if the door just unlocked, wouldn't it? That would just be... That would just be too fucking easy. Oh, you're joking. That aimed just above the glass, so it broke on the actual bunker. Ah, oh. that glass sound though—that is satisfying as fuck. I'm gonna be breaking all the glass in this game. Ooh. Sounded nice. Oh, okay. bunch of gate codes. A couple missing, but I'll fucking do. Base. Courthouse Dome Building is so where the gas is. That's what I got from that. So, now that's a generator. The movement's a little bit funky. I don't know if it's me being a bit retarded, but the movement seems a little bit odd. I can't quite explain what it is. It's almost laggy, oh, but it's not. It's just awkward. Okay. And they, when they run backwards, they literally run backwards, so it's almost like you've got to turn round to go forwards. The character just won't automatically turn. 
I'm wondering if that again is going to be a problem with the combat that I mentioned in the part one video. Okay. I've actually condensed these down as well, by the way, so they're probably just going to be hour-long videos. As I found out yesterday, exporting and uploading a clip of that length of time takes a long time, which should be quite self-explanatory, um, but I didn't realise just how long that was going to take. And then I didn't get to upload it. It should have actually been uploaded the day before, but because of all the editing and everything else that went with it, I didn't get to upload it on the day that I wanted to. So I uploaded it yesterday. So all of these are going to be coming out, you know, a day later than I wanted to, which isn't a big problem. It's not an issue for all seven people that will probably end up watching if you even get this far in. Um, but yeah, the rest of the videos will be an hour long. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be about 20 hours worth of gameplay. Some of it I'll probably fast forward in editing, especially if I fuck up a few times. Um, you know, I'll show you the deaths because they're normally pretty cool, but the rest of it I'll probably just fast forward to try and save you some boring viewing time. Um, but yeah, I think an hour is going to be the right length. Uh, it's good for the audio as well. Bite-sized chunks, manageable. And then, yeah, I can just edit it and get it online, which is, which is what I want to do. I'm so glad I thought to throw the cable over because that could have taken me a while. Oh, that's tight. Look at that fucking wire. So I've got to remember the code. I could look it up, but I'm pretty sure I remember what it is. Yes. Yes. Little memory trivia. My memory's normally quite bad. Oh. Oh, fuck. I thought that was coming down on the horse. <laughs> Shit. Shame we didn't come down on Dina. Crush her head in. Come on in. Let's get going. Is that going to take our heads off? Assuming I'll go right here then. There's nowhere else to go. There it is. Found the base. It can't be as easy as that, can it? There's going to be a shit ton to do before I just walk in there. Ha! <laughs> fuck Fedra! Fuck Fedra gate? Very creative. Gets right to the point. Let's get closer and scope it out. That reminds me of... Uh, I don't know the code for this one, I don't think, do I? I don't think the power's on. If I come out of this, I'll check the power. It's not plugged in. Oh, it is. No power. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so, Fedra, that's hilarious. I immediately think of Hydra from Marvel. don't know if anyone else is with me on that. You know, the evil Nazi group Hydra? Hill Hydra. Oh, here we go. Another generator. Oh, it might be easier than I thought. Oh, cool. It's fucking empty. Well, what do we do now? Great. Oh, shit. The note. What? Cool, 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 cool. Gas in the oh, Dana. And Fuck off. Get your own horse. All right. Courthouse garage in the dome. Whoop. So what's the plan for finding these places? We ride around and see what we see. You think Tommy came through here? <laughs> That's the plan. We ride around, see what we see. Well, I've seen the dome building already, so that was easy. Fucking hell. Pretty sure. What a beautiful little game this is. It did really well. Nice. I'll mark it up as we go.
Yeah, that side of the map is fucking useless. Straightforward is there, I can see it. It's a beautiful looking game though, look at that. Fuck. Just Why would they do that? I hope the quality of the video matches up to what I'm actually seeing. Because I've seen that on some YouTube videos. I mean, I I cast it through my TV. And I swear some of the game videos look better on like the phone or the iPad than they do on a bigger TV. But yeah, I hope it's good enough quality. Fedra or Hydra. I might just call them Hydra. In Boston. There's no way I'm getting in there. And the food sucked. I go crazy. Some people did. Oh, it is telling me to go to the door. Yeah, the fuck am I getting in there? Come on. Oh honey dick. Check out those stained glass windows. I don't see many of those. Fuel distribution. Can't believe it's Ah, oh, you fucking joking. <laughs> see that little jumper did before I actually got on the ladder. Another empty drawer. <laughs> oh no, there was something there. Fresh intel, wolf hideout, spring fifth. Grub soldiers, it's a hideout. Okay. Spring and fifth. Bullets. Why would there only be two bullets in that one drawer? Surely there would be more. You know, than just two. Two seems odd to me. It, you know, like, who's leaving two bullets in that box? Surely they would just put them in their pocket. Because they've got their own gun, right? Surely, like. That's what I'd think, anyway. Is there another way in? Was there a left? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flammable. Good. Boston always had food shortages. Hungry people get desperate. I guess I'll just jump down here. I haven't seen any affected in a while, so I'm assuming I'm going to run into some. And if there's a fence, then yeah, that's normally infected, right? Can you get through? Zombies are so much more fun to say, but they're not zombies, are they? Because right, have they come back from the dead? Ah, oh, fuck, infected. Great. I wonder how many times I'll fuck this up. I'll probably fast forward over me prattin' about any bits. Yeah, look at that. Oh, fuck. The gore. The amount of gore. Oh, there was another one. I didn't even see them. Dina actually did say it. Fucking hell. Nice She's not bad. She's not bad. Oh, she's getting more brownie points as we go. I'll give you Dina updates. I'm sure I'll... Uh, I'm sure I'll end up hating her again. In 30 seconds time. When she doesn't help with this next batch of infected... Right, this may be risky, but I'm going to try something.
I'm going to try something. I'm hoping that this is a stealthy enough kill that it doesn't notify the others. It's probably going to be a mistake. But I'm going to do it anyway. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh no. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Dodge. How many bullets? What? Ah. Oh. Run away. Run away. Jump over the wall. Oh, you honey dicked me. I thought I could run over the wall. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was good. Yes, finally. That infected took a lot of abuse. Fuck. I think that's all of them. I don't get it. If there were still people oh, around, blood on the hands. That's a nice touch. There's little touches. Yeah, Fuck. Let's find that gas. They got smashed then. Let's have a look again. So I've got to get in here somehow. Oh, I haven't got enough for a health kit. For fuck's sake. So no health and probably imminent death around the next corner. And two bullets. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. If this place becomes completely infected I'm gonna freak because with my health and my bullets that's not fucking happening now I might have to draw the curtains because the light is shining on the TV and the darkness of this church or synagogue or whatever is actually making it really difficult to see obviously you won't see that but from the recording, but I'm fucking struggling. This place is a synagogue. And that torch is dog shit. It is a synagogue. <laughs> Get me. And I didn't even see the the la lights or the lanterns or whatever they're called. Burst into flames? It's just a dumb joke. Well, unlike your other ones. So I'll just crawl under here, right? This door's gonna be locked. Yep. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be locked? Gas. That'd be too easy. To Go and crawl under. There's enough for him. Definitely can crawl under. <laughs> Come on. If she had a backpack off. No entry. Alright, so the gas is there. I'm not going up. Oh, there's a door there. Maybe that just leads round. Maybe it is as easy as this. Let's have a... I can't jump up there. Uh, okay, maybe that's later. Yeah, that'll be later on. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't worry about it now. That door's fucking barred off. And that one. Anything on the shelves? I need some health. Give me some health. Change. Got any change? Come on. Nothing. Oh. Screws. And a bottle. Bottle of rum? Why is all the rum gone? Right, let's go around here because it's clearly where I need to go. Oh, is this door a thing? No. Honey dicked again. This game should be the last of the honey dicks because they are tricking me at every turn. This door's got to be open, right? Oh, fine then. That's not too bad. I really can't fucking see. I'm literally going to have to stop being lazy and draw the curtains, but what the fuck am I doing? So I'm grabbing this, I think. I'm pushing it over there. And then I don't, I don't get it. I can't see, guys. <laughs> I might have to do a quick pause and move. Gas is there, but it's locked up. I can't see for shit. Oh. What am I doing then? I've just lost the plot. 
Uh, maybe I'm meant to jump up there, and then let's just maybe I'm meant to bring that out and go up top. Will that fit through the door? I don't think that's gonna fit through the door. Oh, fuck, am I going? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to shut the curtains. I think in a sec, guys. Because there's, uh, I can't see. Right, so. Yeah, I know I'm meant to get the gas, but. Oh, what? I can't go back now. What? Because I've blocked. Ha <laughs> no. I've trapped myself. Oh, oh no, I should still be able to go. Yeah. Yeah, I should be fine. Oh. I thought I'd lock myself out of the room. What a glitch that is. What? Wait. Why did the thing jump? Yeah, it's there. Come grab it. And I can't jump over. Oh, you are joking. What? It's... Fuck. I locked myself out of the room. Right, now I can actually see, guys. I've had to reload it. <laughs> so, it's fairly obvious that I was just meant to push this forward and then jump on it. <laughs> but I'd actually barricaded myself out of the room. Um which was nobody's fault but mine. And then for some reason, I couldn't grab the thing to push it away from the door. So I got stuck. So I've had to reload that little bit. Luckily, though, The Last of Us has a quite a quick checkpoint. It tells you how many minutes. So I could tell that I was going to be back in that room because of the amount of minutes on the checkpoint. I should have showed you that, really, on the pause screen. It tells you, so you can just reload it. Um, but you'll just have to take my word for it. I didn't get that on screen. Oh, uh, I see. And then that goes next to that big thing that I can't jump up. And then I can jump up it. Dean is just banging on about her religion. I'm all for it, but just don't beat people over the head with it. Like, unless they're in the same religion, then I all mean to talk about it. But I don't want anyone talking to me about religion. Unless I ask them a question about their religion, then I think that's valid then, because you've initiated the conversation. But don't just start yabbering on about your religious beliefs. Like, God... Like, like God. Okay. <laughs> Literally. And that pun Holly, wasn't intended. Be careful. But. It's okay. It's holding. I really think Ellie's like almost a modern, less busty version of Laura Croft. Very similar. I wonder if they did the same game. I don't actually know, but. Come on, Dina. Right. Come on, Dina. Oh, wait, I didn't go. There was another room, wasn't there? Oh, but that sounded good, didn't it? I wonder if I can get over there and then maybe come back. My sister used to give me an apple dipped in honey. Ugh, now I'm craving it. Naughty Dog Productions. Because they did a Crush Team Racing, didn't they? In the Crush Bandicoot games. That's how I know who they are. 
I reckon I can get over there. There's got to be something decent in that room because I forgot to go there. That seems to always be the way. Did all of that for that. Scripture. It's like a, like a Jewish Bible. Hmm. My sister Great. would have looked for this. The one we used in New Mexico was Tis a bit shit. shit. Alright. Tis a bit shit. At least I didn't just chuck everything. But hey ho. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get the rope somehow. Do I just jump onto it? No, I don't move that. Okay. Dina, get out of the fucking way, man. How could you date that? Like, Jesus. I'm going to just jump. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was overcomplicating that. Let's just Tarzan back over. Me Tarzan, you Ellie. Go! Okay. No effect is in there, which surprises me. I still feel like I'm getting an easy run at the moment. Um, and I picked... Was it normal difficulty? Or mo is it moderate? I think they call it on this. I got like six difficulties, I think, and I picked the middle one because it was default set to the middle one. And I was like, that's normally how the game is meant to be played, isn't it? Like the normal moderate. That's just, you know, it's normal. It's average. That's how the game was designed. And then they increase the difficulty for those who have played it probably more than once, I guess. Um, yeah. No gas. Go and get gas. So I'm just going to the next building then. It's fairly straightforward. It's weird being in a QZ and not also looks a little bit like Red Dead. I still haven't completed that goddamn game. I think I'm about halfway through the story. And oh, I don't know. There's, there's something off with that game as well. The, I don't know, it's the targeting, or... We always had a I don't know, I just feel like it's a bit... Off. Never in one place for I love it. It's, it's a great game, and I will complete it at some point. Nice but, hey. you know, courthouse. Here we go. How, can you tell? Um, see that sign up there? On the building that says courthouse? How does she not see that? Fucking idiot. Oh, well, nice work the courthouse. The, we're right in front of it. Place on the map. Yeah, Detective Dina. Right, so... That door's going to be shut, right? Of course. Kabooch. Okay. It's definitely going to be infected in this place. There's no way I'm getting away with that. No, no one around. Okay. A bit extra cautious. Have I died yet? I don't think I've died yet. Did I die as Abby? I actually even can't remember and it wasn't that long ago. Okay. Okay. Another fucking map. How do I get into this stupid place? You know, it's, it's courthouse. 
Fucking looks like poison ivy's lair. Oh, I see. The old jump on the jeep. I'll go yeah, I'll go yeah. Alright. So oh, that looks straightforward. What's to the left though? They always do this, don't they? They give you a clear path, but then there's just like a little bit of added extra like map or location to the other side that you can investigate. And there was fuck all in there. Great. Honey dicked again. That's three times in, like, half an hour. Definitely a naughty dog. It's definitely going to be affected in here as well. Yep, there you go. It's that clicker. Alright, so... Give me some extra audio here. I failed. I died. My first death crept up on me. Um, so yeah. So let's try that again. Yeah, so I actually died. Uh, this is attempt number two at this building. I caused a bit of commotion. <laughs> um, and a clicker crept up on me mid combat. I got no warning, um, so I'm trying not to claim full accountability on that one. I'm pretty sure that wasn't my fault. And yeah, I didn't have a chance to defend myself. And then it went to that little nice little cutscene that you just saw, where my throat got ripped out. So I'm gonna try and be a bit more tactical this time around. I'm not a very patient person. So when I play these games that you have to be stealthy or there's a choice to be stealthy, I'm normally stealthy like 5% of the time and then I end up just going, oh, fuck it, I've got guns, I'm going to use them, which for this type of game isn't the smartest move. But yeah, as you can see there, I've not been as stealthy as I could have been. Oh, wait. Just good with that knife though. Oh, sort of the head. Oh, another one. Still got to get used to this dodging, the combat, without a combat stance. It's just, it's strange to me in the, the year that we live in, okay. that this is what we're doing. But Because this is a new game-ish. Alright, it's not 2019? Or 20? I'm not even sure anymore. Oh, 2020. Action adventure game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony. Yeah. Nope. You're telling me you never got in trouble back in Boston? Oh, I got in trouble, but never landed in a courthouse. Yeah. I'm not going to read up too much of it because I don't want to get spoilers. But a quick Google helps to know what you're talking about. <laughs> I sound like I know fuck all, and I don't. I know the bed bones. I can't even really remember the first game. I'm glad they gave us that little video intro in part one, because I would have been a little bit lost, I think. I remember that he saved her. The game was long <laughs> and difficult, and then he has the choice of letting her die to potentially cure everybody. Or to save her little life. And then you don't get a choice. He makes that choice. And I thought for some reason. I don't know where I got the. Misinformation from. But I was fairly certain. This game was choice based. But I guess the choices you make are. More in game and. They're subtle aren't they. Because you're. You choose to go in loud. Or you choose to go in stealthy or. You know, you choose to go left or right. So I guess there are choices to be made, but they're not kind of the choices I thought. I thought it'd be like story altering. Um, more like Until Dawn, you know, like, oh, you saved a character's life or you chose not to save them or you choose to kill them or, you know, you don't help them through the next bit of the level. They die, it affects the storyline. I thought it was going to be more like that. Um, I'm not sure where I got that impression from either. I might have just made it up myself, but I 
generally thought that was going to be more the vibe of this game. Oh, dead people. No infected, though. I still feel like this is like a warm-up level. Betty, the wolf is winning. The city's going to fall any day now. you got to quit Hydra. Thursday Market Massacre. That sounds like a film series I'd like. Brought it on yourself, I guess. Thursday Market. Not Green Market. Is it Green Market? I love smashing those windows. Oh, safe. Combination is no clue. It'll be in here though. Oh, a manual. Okay, this is my first manual. Prep. Survival guide for the silent majority. So that's going to be a stealth book, I'm assuming. I can craft more shit now. No, I can't. What are we talking about? Hmm. Got a load of fucking useless shit in here. No, that's not what I'm looking for, I don't think. Interesting random notes. That's not what I was looking for, though. Procrastinating now. Prep! Yes, that's what I was looking for. What are we doing with this prep book, then? Nothing. It looks shit. So, I'm a bit lost. Am I meant to consume it somehow, or...? Oh, I missed the plot here. Training manuals. Yeah. That's... All right. I'm not sure what that does yet. I'm totally honest. It doesn't said crafting, but 860722. Well, I've just seen the passcode on the wall. So. Wolf agitators. Hugo Gonzalez. Alison Cole. Isaac Dixon, what? Murder of a Fedor. I think. So are those three people going to be relevant? I don't know. 860722. Yeah, cool. Got it again. It's on the whiteboard. Oh, machete. Hang on. Was that a machete? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, let me see what's in the safe first. Safe it as is, mate. I kind of like this safe element that I've got in the game. you got to find the, the code, then you unlock the safe and you get a bunch of goodies. The goodies are never enough, though. It's like Resident Evil. It's just fucking annoying. Just one bullet. You know? No bullets in this case. I know it's a survival game, but you'd have more bullets. Or maybe just give you a lot at once, like, I don't know, 10 or 20, and then none for a while. Do it that way. And then if you use all your bullets up, it's your own fucking fault, isn't it? Because with this, you only get, like, two bullets, so it's like, well, you've got to be stealthy. I don't know if they did that by design, but you have to be stealthy. Because you've only got two bullets. Because if it all kicks off, you need them two bullets in sort of more of a desperate mode. But, I don't know. What the fuck are we going to do with this? Pretty sure there was a machete in that guy's arm as well. There Does it is. Yep. She wouldn't turn around for some reason then. Oh. Nice. Machete. 
Paul Douglas. I mean, you can pause and read all that. I'm not fucking bothered. I'm sure it's a nice little side story to the main story, but honestly, I don't care. <laughs> right, oh, fuck, I'm going now. It's about to the lifts. Okay, then. Part three, down the lift.